As a free-to-play player, you are pretty tight on resources in Zenlin Zone Zero, and when you are building your team, you are mainly focusing on building your main DPS first. In which case, the amount of damage that your main DPS does to the rest of your team ends up being pretty significant. And I want you to take a look at this clip right here. Now as you can see, during the chain attack, I let the timer go out and stay on Ellen, who is my main DPS on this team. And doing it this way ends up keeping your DPS much higher than continuing to chain attack in certain cases. Now had this been a tougher fight, staying on Ellen would have allowed me to instantly use my ultimate if I so choose. And this brings the point on the chain attack. Now I know the animations looks really cool and it's very tempted to just mindlessly hit that and go rotate through all your characters because it definitely does look cool. And because the game is super easy, especially in anything that is not Shiyu defense, Doing this just for the fun is pretty good. However, when things get more difficult, like when you're doing the higher stages of Shiyu defense, especially if you're trying to push for progress and are not waiting to get a higher level or unlock higher levels for your characters to breeze through it, your rotation might have to be something more similar to this, where you are canceling the chain attack, sticking on your main DPS to do more damage. And let me go over the occasions where you may want to do that. Now, obviously, if you are completely uninvested on your support characters and only have your DPS, you may want to be sticking on your DPS at all times, mainly dodging on the main DPS, not even doing assists, just so that you maintain higher damage and giving you a better chance at uh, unlocking the next, the next stage of Shiyu defense. However, if your supports are a little bit of invested, maybe even fully invested, maybe like my Shokaku, who is C6R5 at this point, you might need to debate a little bit uh, before making your decisions and let's go over some cases on which you may want to stay on your main DPS. Using the example of my team, Ellen, Shokaku, and Anbi. Now with this team, as I mentioned before, my Shokaku is C6, R5, pretty unintentionally invested because of that, so she does a decent amount of damage, and because she's a support, she does boost the damage of my Ellen. So there are occasions where I would want to switch into her during a chain attack, and chances where I would prefer not to. Now as a support, Sokaku does boost the damage of Ellen, so there are definitely times where I would want to bring Sokaku out, apply the flag buff, as well as her weapon passive buff, and then put that on Ellen, so there are definitely times where I want to switch into her. However, if the buff is already applied, or maybe I'm really close to bringing down that enemy, I may stick to Ellen, and some of the factors would be the following. If I have her EX skill available on Ellen, I will stick on Ellen to provide more damage. The other time I may want to pursue the chain attack is if Ellen is the one that is proccing the daze, in which case I would probably switch over to a chain attack into Sokaku. She'll do the buff, and then I can immediately switch back to to Ellen right after skipping Anbi completely because Anbi is just there to build up days for the most part and not really there for any other reason and so then I'm back to my Ellen and I'm good to go and after proccing that Ellen I may end the chain attack there if it wants to continue and just pump it up there especially if the enemy is dazed and I have my ultimate up because just pumping that out right away is going to be better even more so if it's the ultimate and an EX skill because just sticking on Ellen will just end up being better and then just kind of switching between Ellen and Sokaku if needed for the buff, but otherwise I will just stay in Ellen at times when the enemy is dazed and every time it procs, it does get annoying at times because sometimes the, the chain attack will proc multiple times, but it is sometimes just better to just do more damage that way. So I just wanted to say that, give another option to your rotations. Uh, if you are having some difficulty with Shiyu defense, this might help you just edge towards victory if you are pushing for that, but eventually once your team is fully built all three characters, chain attack will probably end up being more beneficial, especially if you want to pass on a bunch of buffs to your main DPS through the chain attack itself, as well as maybe providing some disorder reactions as well if your team is not a mono element type. And that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time, adieu and goodbye.